I'll be in my trailer. <laughs> I'm a crazy cat person hoarder. I can hardly see out of the front of my car. I've, it's full of newspapers and uh, it's, it's a real thing. It's a real problem. So you hoard the right shit long enough, they call you a collector. So I'm uh, selling off just a wee bit of the collection, just a selected um, few items that I think uh, they're not, I'm not doing them any justice sitting, sitting around when somebody could be using this stuff or enjoying it. Um, I haven't really sold anything ever. My psychiatrist said I have to do this. After 30 years of collecting odds and ends and really good stuff, I, I, what ended up happening is I, I got too many. So I was like, you know, we gotta sell some of this off. And yeah. uh, some of it I've used and some of it um, just kind of sat there in pristine condition, so. I think every guitar to me has its own character of uh, whatever you want to do, um, or whatever you're looking for, or just something that reflects who you are, the kind of songwriter, the kind of guitar player that you are. Um, so, I mean, I love pretty much, I love all guitars. They're awesome. Well, I'd say the three pieces I'm selling that I'm particularly psyched about. <laughs> are the lead E kit from 21st Century Breakdown Tour, the uh, Champagne Sparkle Gretsch kit from the Uno Dos Trey Trilogy era, and um, a really interesting one is the Slingerland Spitfire Trey Cool Signature model. Uh, it's probably the only one left in existence, and it's brand new, new old stock in the box. So I burned all the rest of them. I would say I kind of brought Slingerland back to life, but it, I also killed Slingerland at the same time because I uh, demanded so much product that there's no way any company in their right mind would keep giving me drums to just set on fire. So, you know, sometimes you can get them, but they're all burned up. So th those are out there. But an actual kit of the Slingerland, that era, not that many of them, but they were great. So you have the opportunity to not only buy the drum set, but you could buy the matching snare too in a completely different transaction. I've got a uh, Zildjian Noble Cooley uh, boop, snare drum. Those two uh, companies got together and I'm assuming they melted down some of the uh, old cymbals I broke. Like literally the, the ingredients that make the snare drum are secret. They're hidden in a locked door at the Zildjian company that only certain family members are passed down from generation to generation, from like the 1400s. So that's a pretty cool snare drum, and it sounds good. So this AOT kit, this was like the Insomniac uh, drum set, so any shows around that time, you would have seen them there. Burned up Orange County kit. That was one of the early fires in the Pop Disaster Tour. Pancho Sanchez, Gone Bops. Actually, the night that uh, Mike Deerant's child was born, um, Pancho Sanchez was giving Mike a conga lesson, I think on those congas, and uh, he had he had to leave the conga lesson early. That's why Mike doesn't play congas. The Casio Privia keyboard, now, I'm not sure if I wrote Bohemian Rhapsody on that or not. I can't remember. It's a Mesa Boogie, bass 400 plus, bass head. It's a loud ass bass amp. Made in Petaluma, California. Crank that sucker up and slap at the bass. I got that Phantom uh, X7 off uh, Jason Freeze. So, there you go. Jason Freeze can sing with a toothpick in his mouth. I hope whoever buys this stuff gets uh, some good enjoyment out of it. I, I, I really hope that uh, they just don't sit around and, and get dust, except for the, the burn stuff. I mean, that's probably don't try and fix that. It's not gonna work. It's just burned. I'm probably just gonna buy all this stuff at like three in the morning myself because I'm gonna have a hard time. And then I could tell my psychiatrist, well, I did sell it. <laughs>